The nation of Malkir was once part of the Borderlands, which is the name given to the five nations that border the Great Blight, located north of the Westlands. Malkir was born at the beginning of the War of the Hundred Years, which was a series of conflicts that occurred when multiple individuals tried to take control of Arthur Hawkwing's empire after his death. The five borderland nations at the time made an agreement to defend the Westlands against the corruption of the Great Blight, and for almost a thousand years Malkir stood true to this agreement, but then tragedy struck. The fall of Malkir begins with a woman by the name of Brienne, the wife of Lane Mandragoran, who was the brother of the king of Malkir at the time, Akir Mandragoran. Brienne was jealous of King Akir because he was raised to the throne of Malkir instead of her husband, Lane Mandragoran, who she believed was more worthy of the crown of Malkir. She was not the only person with this belief. Cohen Gemalin, also known as Cohen Fairheart, was a Malkiri noble that also agreed with Brienne, and he advised her to convince her husband, Lane, to travel to the Great Blight with an army and prove that he was better than his brother by returning from the Blight unharmed. Brienne convinced her husband to do exactly this, and even after King Akir ordered his brother not to go, Lane Mandragoran went to the Great Blight anyway and he took 5,000 soldiers with him, but none of them ever returned. After this event, Brienne's hatred for the king grew, and she started plotting against him. She now wanted to overthrow King Akir and place her own son, Isam, in the throne of Malkir, but in order for this to happen, she needed support. Cohen Fairheart agreed to help Brienne, and they decided to seize the capital of Malkir. To do this, they removed the Malkiri troops defending the border from the Great Blight, and they brought them back to the capital. This left the Malkiri border with minimum defense, and because of it, thousands of Shadowspawn started to pour into Malkir like a flood, which turned out to be exactly what Cohen Fairheart wanted because he was a dark friend and he wanted Malkir destroyed. The attack on the capital failed, and King Akir and his forces were victorious. Brienne Mandragoran and her son Isam were able to escape, but they were taken by the Shadowspawn and their fates became unknown. The King of Malkir then sent a Jane Farstrider, who was his best scout, to capture Cohen Fairheart. Farstrider was able to capture Fairheart and he brought him back to the capital to face justice. King Akir and Cohen Fairheart fought in single combat and the King of Malkir was victorious. When the king realized that Malkir was under attack from the shadow, he managed to rally his troops and he put up a strong defense against the shadow spawn. But soon he realized that his nation was doomed and that aid from the other borderland nations would never arrive in time. The king of Malkir decided to abdicate the throne of Malkir to his son, Landman Dragoran, who at the time was just a newborn. He gave his newborn son the sword of Malkiri kings and then ordered 20 of the best Malkiri swordsmen to take him to safety. King Akir and his last remaining forces remained in Malkir and they fought to the bitter end, but they were ultimately defeated. Malkir was overtaken by the shadow and all of the nation was completely destroyed. The Shadowspawn were eventually stopped by the rest of the Borderland nations, but they were unable to retake Malkir, and over the years, the once great nation became part of the Great Blight. Landman Dragoran became the uncrowned king of Malkir, and he arrived in the nation of Shinar unharmed, but only five of his original twenty bodyguards survived the journey. His bodyguards raised him, and they taught him everything they knew about combat, Malkir, and the Great Blight. Landman Dragoran grew up to be a great leader and one of the best swordsmen, and when he was finally declared a man, he set out on a quest to avenge his lost nation. 